Chicago claimed top spot in the NFC North with a big win over Minnesota at home Sunday night, extending its winning streak to four games. The Bears come to Detroit to take on a Lions team that showed sudden life with a victory over Carolina. These teams played recently with Chicago winning 34-22 at home in Week 9, covering a 7.5 point favorites. But the Bears have had trouble in Motown, going just 2-6 and six ATS in their last eight road games in Detroit. Steve, what do the stats say about this Thanksgiving matchup? Yeah, I'm going to be watching the turnover battle in this one. You've got the Bears coming in number one, a turnover differential, plus 13 on the season. Lions near the bottom of the league at minus five. Interesting, both actually have more giveaways than average, but Chicago taking the ball away three times as often as the Lions. 27 takeaways so far, just nine for the Lions. And they're doing it by getting pressure on the quarterback. Uh, quarterback pressure leads to good things. They're third in quarterback hits, eighth in football outsiders pressure rate. Stafford, you look at him when he's under pressure, when he gets hit, uh, throwing interceptions at double the NFL average rate, less than three yards per attempt, 38% completion rate. You got Khalil Mack back healthy and looking good. I think this one could be a long day for Stafford. Yeah, the odds in the action kind of saying the same thing here. Chicago opens minus three, three and a half very quickly, now minus four. I think injuries are playing a big part in this too. Detroit running back, on Johnson, that nice rookie running back, has kind of been a do-it-all guy. He's got a knee injury the short week here. He's not going to be able to play in this game. And then also, too, top receiver Marvin Jones. This receiving core is pretty thin to begin with since they traded Golden Tate. Doesn't look like he's going to be back for this game either. So the short week really not doing Detroit any favors. You mentioned Stafford under pressure. He didn't face too much under against the Panthers, but sacked six times against Chicago, ten times against the, uh, the Vikings. That's left this passing game to average just under 196 yards over their last three games. They're kind of falling into New York territory where they couldn't keep Eli Manning upright. They're finding the same trouble here with the Lions. 